In this video, I'm going to show you the complete setup of Spotify and how to use it on your Garmin VivoActive up next. Hey guys, thanks so much for checking out this video. My name is Jeff. Let's get to talking about setting up Spotify and all the fun things you can do with it. So first off, if you are hoping to use a free version of the Spotify software that's not going to work, uh, you are going to need a paid uh, premium version of Spotify for your account to link it to your Vivo Active watch. Uh, the other thing is that you will be able to download music and podcasts to your watch so that you won't have to have your phone on you. You can just send the music from your watch to a Bluetooth headphones. So if you're gonna go out for a run or something, what's nice about that is you can leave your phone at home or if you're at the gym, you can put your phone in your locker and you don't have to have it physically on you. So let's get to setting up Spotify. So to start off, we're gonna to wanna to click the watch icon up top. And from that point, the second option down here is music. And if we go into music, that's gonna populate here and show what's installed and what's not installed. Uh, for this exercise, we're gonna install Spotify. So since it showed up as an option, I can click on Spotify. And then from this screen, it'll allow me to install or if you don't have Spotify popping up as an option, at the bottom of the screen you have Get Music Apps. You can click that, which takes you over to the Connect IQ app, which you can use to download uh, different pieces of software for your watch. And then I see Spotify popping up towards the bottom, or you can search for it at the top. But again, clicking on Spotify is going to give you an option here to download the Spotify app. So from this point, I'm going to hold down this bottom right button or the back button, which takes me into this menu. And I can go down until I see the gear icon, which is going to take me into settings. And then under settings, I want to go to the music setting and then music providers. Now under music providers, I'm gonna see Spotify and then when I click that, it's gonna tell me to go to the Garmin Connect mobile app. If I bring my phone back in here, I see that the screen has changed to a login screen. So I'm gonna enter in my information here to log in. So once I'm logged in, it takes me to the Garmin IQ uh, agreement. I'm gonna go ahead and agree to that. And then it's gonna tell me that my sign-in process is complete and I can return to the Garmin device. So on my device, I can see Play Spotify Anywhere. I'm gonna get started. So taking a look at the library, we can add music and podcasts. We can view settings. We're gonna add some music and podcasts. Uh, under this, we can adjust playlists. We can go to recently played, made for you, workouts, or podcasts. Let's start with uh, downloading some playlists. This brings up all the different playlists that I currently am either subscribed to or have created in my Spotify app. And if I wanna add one of these playlists here, I can just tap on it to add and it's going to search for the Wi-Fi network uh, that I've got the watch connected to and it's going to sync up that playlist to download the music to this watch. Depending on the length of the songs, it may take around 15 to 20 seconds to download per song. So if you're gonna download like a 100 song playlist, you're gonna need to give yourself several minutes for this process to complete. I also wanna mention to you guys, somewhere hidden in this video is Tinker, our hidden robot. And if you happen to find them like in all of our other videos, feel free to leave down in the comments below the timestamp of where you saw him. And you might make it onto our Tinker Forward Hall of Fame page. And we'll also link back to your YouTube channel if you've got one. So in addition to music, you can use Spotify uh, to also listen to podcasts. So we'll go down here from the library to podcasts. This is going to take a moment to load, but these are different podcasts that I have subscribed to. And if there's one of these here that I want to click on, let's go to the Chris Hogan Show. Great podcast, by the way. If you haven't listened to the Chris Hogan Show, you definitely need to listen to it. Uh, I can pick any episode here from the list that I want to download. So let's do this one. 
and just like in downloading music it's going to download that episode to your watch so you can listen to it without needing to stream it or without needing internet so let's look at your Spotify controls so right now we are in one of the playlists that I've got and uh, we can see the song that we're currently playing and the artist there's a green ring that's developing around the edge of the watch here and that's essentially telling me the status of the song. I can pause and play it from that center button and I can go forward or backward between tracks using those controls. I can also tap on the name here which is going to reveal how much time is left on that song. In addition to that, the dots on the bottom right here take you into the kind of preferences. So you've got loop preferences and shuffle preferences. So by tapping the loop when you get the little dot at the bottom, that means it's going to loop through your entire playlist. Tapping it again so that you get the little number one is just going to repeat whatever current song you're on. It's just going to play that song over and over and over. Uh, when it just shows the loop, it's just going to play through and there's no loop that's actually initiated. For your shuffle, if you tap the shuffle and you get the little dot, that means that shuffle is activated and it's going to shuffle through whatever playlist you're currently playing. You've also got your speaker icon there and if you click on that, by tapping the screen up or down, this is going to allow you to raise or lower the volume of whatever music you're listening to. You can hit the bottom right button to go back. This will take you to the preferences and then clicking it again, that button will take you into the uh, controls where we started for Spotify. If you want to go to a different playlist or podcast, you click the library button and you can choose what you want. And then from this point, if I don't have headphones connected, I can connect headphones. So we're going to connect our headphones. If you haven't connected headphones yet, here's a real quick tutorial. Uh, it's going to search for headphones. I've got my uh, Roken Surge headphones here. I'm going to turn them on and I'm going to keep holding the power button down to put the headphones into pairing mode. It's flashing with the red and white so I know that it is in pairing mode. The watch is looking for headphones. Um, sometimes I have to do this more than once the first time that I'm pairing the headphones. So if this happens and you're not finding the headphones, uh, you can try again and we'll see if it's going to find them here. It did find them, so we are going to tap on those and it is connecting. So we are connected. So something else that's handy that I want to show you with using Spotify is if you've got the control screen up and you aren't touching your watch for about 30 seconds, eventually it's going to go back to the home screen and you're going to lose the controls that you have to advance or pause your music or do whatever you want, just like my watch did right now. You can add music controls as a shortcut and a widget on your watch, and that's going to allow you to quickly access those controls again. Here's how you do it. You're gonna long press this bottom right button. That's gonna take you into this menu, and then you're gonna scroll down and click on this gear. And in this gear, you wanna to go to widgets, and under widgets, you want to scroll down. These are all different options you have here for widgets. Eventually, you are going to come to music controls. And if you don't see music controls, you can go to add more, and it's going to be under there. But if you click the dots on the right, you can reorder. And I'm going to take this music controls, and I'm going to bring it all the way to the top of my widget list. And we're going to put it right there. And now with it being in my widget list, I'm going to hit my bottom right button again to back out. And if I scroll up on my main screen, I have controls for my music. So in addition to the widgets, if you want to make music controls a shortcut, you can do that as well. Again, by holding down the right lower button, getting you to this screen and going to the gears. And then instead of going to widgets, this time we're going to go to shortcut. And you're going to see under shortcut here music controls and if you select that and then hit your bottom right button your back button to back you out if you then scroll to the right on your watch with your finger that is going to have your music controls now as a shortcut 
on your watch. So another way to quickly access Spotify. If this video helped you out, be sure to smash that like button. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, take a second right now. If you hit that subscribe button and that little notification bell, you'll get notified every time I release a weekly video here of tutorials, tech, gadget reviews, as well as do-it-yourself projects. My name is Jeff. This is Tinker Forward. Be sure to make every day awesome, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And we're going to move that all the way up to the top of the screen. Oh, and I lost it. Let's try that again. Because I was looking for it, and it actually says that it's installed, but it's not installed. Am I actually recording? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to... Hey! You can also control the volume of your headphones right on the watch here by either clicking the buttons, whoa, or not. If this video helped you out, be sure to hit that like button or smash that like button. Just, just push it real hard on the screen. Like the harder you push it, the more it'll just make an impact. Anyways.